what was your reaction when when Canon came with their offer on uh, Axis? Well, my initial reaction was that uh, this is uh, yet another of those guys who wants to acquire us, and uh, my mission, as always, would be to say no. But uh, uh, when I met Canon, I mean, they actually had a lot of the substance, and uh, it was a lot of logic behind uh, their offer. So uh, I found myself very uh, confused after I met them the first time, and uh, I said, this actually does make sense. And although I emotionally really thought I would never ever sell Axis, it was also a very rational thing to do. And this uh, really confused me and bugged me for quite some time. And uh, then uh, when I saw all the benefits they can get, bring to us and the promise is to keep us and respect our culture as it is. Uh, after some thorough thoughts on the most difficult decision of my life, I decided to say yes. So what is the benefit of having Canon as uh, the owner? Well, if I look on the current, we the current owners, what we can bring, have, have been bringing to Axis is the uh, long-term view and uh, the understanding and respect for the company culture. Uh, Canon is a Japanese company and uh, we all know that Japanese have a very long-term view on basically anything they do. So I don't think here is much of a change. Uh, the difference is, of course, in the culture, uh, because uh, Axis, we have a very special culture, and this culture is what has made the great success we have had in the uh, IP video market. So uh, uh, the challenge is, of course, to maintain this culture and uh, make sure that we can keep on growing. And uh, I think we will be able to do that, because Canon understands that they are the world's biggest company when it comes to regular SLR type system cameras but uh, they have a certain way of being sold but the access business model is great for video surveillance and this is what we bring to the table. With the increasing competition from mainly from China do you think this is also a good reason to a uh, good timing for for this merger? Well, I think that uh, if you look at the Chinese, I mean, they have had uh, explosive growth in China. And uh, with Canon, they complement us because they can bring us a lot of exciting technologies that we can leverage from that the current owners did not have the ability to give the company. So Canon, of course, uh, they're almost a hundred times larger than us as a company, they have a lot more knowledge in areas such as lenses, image pr uh, processing, chips, and also on uh, patent protection. Canon is, after all, the number three in the world when it comes to new patents. And uh, this gives us a lot of strength that we couldn't have had otherwise. So what do you think uh, will be the impact of uh, this uh, merger? In the, for the future? Well, I mean, uh, I hope that uh, the growth path that uh, Axis has had in the past, that will become even strengthened by the ability to use these technologies from Canon. And uh, uh, I, I really believe it's going to be a good thing for all of us. At the IC West, uh, Axis launched a, a number of uh, uh, very competitive and interesting products. Will you keep up the pace? Uh, when it comes to product development? Of course we do. I mean, we have uh, almost 800 engineers dedicated to developing new products. And uh, this year at ISC West, we had a record of 14 completely new products. And it was actually more products than uh, I could know each one of them, which is the first time ever. Uh, so uh, I think that is really good and personally I'm really excited for our new multi-image uh, camera, the dome camera. Uh, I also the, the more new areas such as the IP horn speaker and the IP video door station. I think by bringing these type of technologies directly into video surveillance rather than having them as isolated islands, I think this is a huge benefit to the user. Being in the same uh, company group as Milestone, how do you think that will affect Axis and how do you think it will affect the market? 
Well, I mean, uh, Axis and uh, Milestone, we will uh, remain being independently run. So Axis, we will be reporting to the CEO and President in Japan, Mr. Mitterai-san, whereas Milestone is reporting to Canon Europe. And both of us are very depending on our existing ecosystems where Milestone is the open platform VMS, which clearly means that they cannot limit themselves to Canon and Axis. And in the same way, Axis have a partner strategy where we work with a lot of independent VMSs. So obviously, if we were to approach and go closer with Milestone, we would shoot ourselves in, a, in the foot. And we don't want to do that. So we will keep on being as open as we have always been. And finally, can you mention three important trends uh, for now? Well, I mean, we, we can see on, uh, uh, if you read, I mean, the generic press, you read a lot of talk about the Internet of Things. And if I look on uh, the security industry, I think that uh, the trend we have here is the Internet of Security Things. Uh, I mean, we began with cameras back in 1996 and video encoders. Now we have door controllers, loudspeakers and uh, IP video door stations. It's quite a lot of stuff that's uh, connected to the Internet. So I think that is one of the key trends. Other trends that I've been evangelizing for a long time, I mean, it's uh, cloud uh, services that we clearly see is happening now. And uh, a third major trend, I think, is the uh, multi-imaging uh, cameras. At Axis, we launched the Axis 2100 Panorama back in 2003. It was not a success. We were way too early out in the market. But uh, now it's the time. I mean, I think I saw four different multi-imaging cameras at ISC. It's clearly going to happen.